안녕하세요 이연우예요 오늘은 제가 이 책을 도서관에서 빌려왔는데요 맥스라는 책입니다 이게 제가 글도 있고 만화 같은 것도 있어서 좋겠다고 생각해서 사왔어요 근데 제가 발음이 그렇게 안 좋고 약간 그 단어들을 많이 모르는 게 있을 거니까 약간 봐주세요 자 읽어볼게요 Dear reader, Nate, this is the fifth time you've borrowed that book I know, I can't get enough of Max the Midnight's Battle of the Book Kinds The story begins with Max in night school Womp But is she good enough? Sure, she is. Look at all the amazing stuff she, stuff she did in book one. But there are new challenges this time. New villains, new beasts, and bot kinds. What are bot kinds? You know them when you see them. Or will you? Happy reading! I think Sir Big Bad hates me. No, no, no. You're doing it all wrong. We've been practicing our sword fighting skills for three hours now. And he's been yelling the whole time, mostly at yours truly. The question is, why? I mean, it's not like I'm the worst one here. Some of these kids can't tell a sword from a salami. But whenever our fearless leader wants to air out his tonsils, I'm his favorite toad. Hold your hands higher or chuckle. Are you too tired? I'm not tired, I mumbled. Is that so? He snorts. Then there's no excuse for your Poor technique. What? My technique's just fine. Our instructor's the problem. Not that I'd ever say that out loud. At KSB Night School of Bijovia, the most important lesson isn't sword fighting or Archery. It's keeping your eyes open and your mouth shut. Here's an idea. Said Dread Week will show you how it's done. Ugh, couldn't someone else show me how it is done? How of all the first years in the class? Said you Week's the most annoying. It's not that he's a bad student, just the opposite. He good, really good. That's what's so obnoxious about him. Go easy, said Jenwick. Remember, she's only a girl. Only a girl. I feel my cheeks burning as Sir Brickbat's words hang in the air. I could tell he didn't like me. And now I know why. He thinks only boys should be knights. If it were up to him, I wouldn't even be here. Hey, forget that stop about stuff about going easy. Give me your best. And duel. Clang, clong, clang, clang, clong, clong. Just so you know, we are not using real weapons. These are training swords. They're made of, made of steel, but the blades have rounded edges so nobody accidentally lose an arm. It's a safety thing, but safe or not, it still doesn't feel very good to get 
flanked by a big hunk of metal. Doof. Wump. Like that. Oh, sorry. Can I help you up? No! Even if I did need any help, I would take it. I can't let everybody think I'm not night material. I drank myself off the ground, ready for Max versus Sedgwick. Round two, and this time, he's going down. That's enough for today. Class dismissed. Except for you, girl. You're staying. See, I need someone to take these rocks and move them to that wall over there. Are you serious? I blurt out. So make much of hope for the whole keep your mouth shut thing. Oh, I see. I'm serious, he grows. But are you? If you really want to be a knight, you have to build up your strength. Move the rocks and you, you're free to go. Oof. But not this kind of work. Welcome to another day in Parada. Pretty glamorous, huh? I figured training to be a knight would be a lot of work. Night school wasn't always such a drag. Actually, when I enrolled here only a month ago, it was great. All Greek but wasn't our teacher back then. So, God Debout was in charge. God Debout used to be the commander of your royal guard. The guy's a legend. He's old as these rocks and twice as though. But you know the bad thing about it. He's an awesome teacher. Or he was with had maybe six or seven days of classes when a special visitor arrived at the school. King Conrad, he and Cadabout spoke privately the very next day. Cadabout was gone. That's when this clown showed up to take over. Since then, KSB has been pretty rocky. Womp, rocky, get it? Max! Millie, hi! If you don't know who Millie is, I will keep this short. She's one of my best friends. And she's a midnight. Wondering who the midnights are, it would take a whole book to tell that story. What are you doing with those stones? Besides getting some honking blisters on my hands, not much, I tell her. Just doing some heavy lifting for the world's worst sword fighting teacher. What's some help? Millie asks. Sure, I love some, I answer. But even with two of us, the job will take hours, maybe, or maybe not. Wow! Did I forget to mention that Millie, Millie has magical powers? That's sort of an Im important detail. You're like a genius sorceress now. No, I've still got a long way to go. But I'm learning a lot from Mumbling. He's a really good teacher. A fierce fact of the day. Mumbling is a wizard and not some average everyday wizard either. He was once Bejovia's royal magician. That, that was way back in the day. 
the by the time Millie and I get him, he was a bit of a mess. Humbling once accidentally changed my uncle into a goose. And that was one of his better spells. But here's the twist. The old guy wasn't completely washed up after all. When the chips were down, he delivered some pretty clunch magic. And he's definitely doing a great job of showing Millie the ropes. Must be nice, I say, with a sigh. What? Hey, stop standing around, having a good teacher. Aren't you supposed to be moving rocks, rocks, rocks? Hmm. Oh, you mean these rocks? It's speciousness and added bonus. Great idea! Uh oh now we can do something fun. More fun than punkling Sir Brackbet. Let's see what Kevin is up to. Great idea! Kevin is a midnight just like me and Millie. He's the first person I met when I came to be Yojuva. And he also happens to be a total genius. Super! Let's go! Sir Brickbat is staring slack jawed at our stone skycraper as we leave the training yard and makes our way through the busy streets. Greetings, Sir Max. Bless you, Sir Max. Uh -uh. Hi. Do you ever get tired of people thanking you for saving the Yojavaya? Millie asked. I try to deflect the questions. We all save the Yojavaya. The rest of us help. It's true. She considers. But it wouldn't have happened without. Kevin! Max! Millie! Your teaming is superb. You've arrived at the precise moment of my grand opening. Kevin, really good library. A library, Kevin? That's wonderful, Millie exclaimed. Yeah, obviously, I add. But what is a library? An archive of books open to the public. Anyone can visit the library and borrow books free of charge. How many books are in your library? Uh, one? But if I may be so bold, it's quite a bit. My eyes widen when I see the cover. Hey, that's US! Kevin beams. Yes, it's the entire story of our thrilling adventure. Commencing with the Auspicious day we met and counseling with King Conrad's dream fats returned to the throne. Millie flips through the pages, her eyes shining. Kevin, it's beautiful. I love all the drawings. Me too. This one of Simon really looks like him. Ooh, let me see. I want to make sure you draw me handsome enough. Simon! I say this is smashing. Kevin declares as Simon hops off his ho horse. All four midnights together again. Simon gets healthy handshake from Kevin and a hug from Millie. Then he walks over to Hi, Max. Hi. Or what's up? You're probably kind of mad at me, huh? To be honest, I wasn't sure how I felt until just now. But seeing Simon right here in front of me, I have no doubts. I was never mad at you, Simon. I tell him. And I mean every word. I was just surprised. He nods. Yeah, I was surprised too. 
When it happened, but it makes sense now. Then explain it to me, I say. How come you quit my school? 감사합니다. 다음 챕터 2를 기대해주세요. Bye!